You've never seen this engine anywhere before. I'm so excited. Look how beautiful and attractive. But does it really work? What do you think? Please be sure to write in the comments. Please watch the video until the end because I want to tell you all the details about this engine and assemble all its parts together. You can see the 8 cylinder engine that 3 pistons are exerting power at the same time. And this is a very interesting point that makes the first piston pass the lock area. It's very really interesting. This engine has 8 pistons. The pistons move back and forth through an angular disc that is golden in color. The central shaft bearing and magnet with a special shape which are placed on three cylinders at the same time, are connected to the central shaft with a handle made of composite material. At the end of the main shaft, there is an acid flywheel. You can see the special shape of this flywheel, which is balanced with a magnet that creates balance and store energy to help when passing through the lock area. The piston have a metal part of which magnets are attracted and two material balls engage with the disc. They slide on the disc and the piston move back and forth. And the power generation mechanism. The rotating magnet is placed in a space about three of the cylinder and simultaneously pushes the three piston to the rear. When the rotating magnet pushes the magnetic piston back. The force produced by this three cylinder can overcome the force of the lens low and the rotating magnet is placed on top of the next magnetic piston. Does the production force of three magnet overcome the resistance of the lens low? The only question and debit of this concept is that, in theory, it can be said yes, it overcome the force of the lens low under three magnet against the locking force of one magnet. It increases the probability of passing through the lock area. When it passes through the lock area, it continues to circulate and this circulation becomes a permanent power. A permanent magnet should lose no more than 1% of its magnetic strength. Over a period of 100 years provided it is specified and cared for properly. There are a few things that may cause your magnet to lose its strength. Heating, impact, welding, liquid increase. Heat about the maximum level rated for the magnet material in your separator will decrease the strength of the magnet. A standard railroad material for MPI has a maximum temperature of 176 degrees Fahrenheit. And a standard ceramic material has a maximum temperature of 400 Fahrenheit. Higher temperature material are available and may have been used in your system. Console the factory if you have question on what the maximum temperature is for your system. This engine does not generate much heat. And the solution is a cooling system like a fan. Welling and liquid increase. And none of the things that cause damage and decrease the life of magnet happen in this entry. I hope you got the full answer to this question. Let me show you the steps of assembling the engine. Let me say one thing here. I'm not recommending anyone to start building this concept. If you are a regular subscriber of my channel, I know clearly that these are my research and I enjoy creating them. You know, that I make the prototype of all these concepts, so wait for the video of making the prototype of this wonderful engine. So, that we can test together to see if it works or not. I don't want to deceive anyone. I don't want to sell anything. We all gain experience and learn together. In my opinion, science without experience has no value. Science and practice gain value together. Science and experience gain value together.
As always, I will soon show you the video of the prototype of this engine. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And finally, jump into the comment and let me know if you like this video. Be sure to check out one of the ones I will link it through here. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification. As always, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.